Buenos dias, mi familia de la iglesia. Good morning, my church family. I'm Jocelyn Galata. Today, I would like to introduce to you the culturally Hispanic food that my family and I traditionally eat. Growing up as half Mexican American, I have acquired a cuisine that is not considered traditional American food. Whether it be chorizo con huevo, spiced pork sausage and egg, migas, eggs, tomato sauce, chili, and tortilla chips, or one of my personal favorites, mole de pollo, chicken in a spiced chocolate sauce. As the holiday season comes up, I would like to talk about the Mexican foods my family and I eat during my favorite holiday, Christmas. Every Christmas, we practice the tradition of cooking Mexican dishes to honor my Mexican roots. Our Christmas menu includes caldo de albondigas, Mexican meatball soup, pozole, Mexican soup made with hominy and meat, enchiladas, a rolled corn tortilla filled with cheese and ground beef covered with a savory tomato sauce, tamales, a masa pocket filled with meats and cheese wrapped with a corn husk. Masa is a dough made from maximalized corn, nopales, sauteed prickly pear cactus pads, unuelos, a fried flat dough disc covered in cinnamon sugar, and lastly, Mexican hot chocolate prepared with a molinillo whisk, a wooden whisk used to mix up and froth the hot chocolate. The reason why these dishes are a staple in Mexican culture is for their significant origins and symbolism. Traditionally, during Christmas time, Mexican Americans make pozole because it was originally made for special occasions. Historically, Aztecs and other Mesoamerican people ate pozole because maize, hominy, was sacred to them and was considered a precious substance of life. Tamales are another favorite and were even offered as sacrifices. In today's day and age, shaking tamales became a family tradition which transformed into tamale making parties called tamaladas. Tamaladas are held during the Christmas season. My tia Chenta always gives us several dozen tamales at Christmas as a gift. Enough with the main courses. Let's talk about desserts. In Latin American cultures, including Mexican American, people eat unuelos during Christmas, not only because they are delicious, but because they are believed to be a symbol of good luck. Now lastly, and more iconically, hot chocolate. There are many ways one can enjoy a warm cup of hot cocoa. Traditionally, I have tend to indulge in Mexican hot chocolate, which are thick, round discs of pure chocolate and cinnamony goodness. To make Mexican hot chocolate, you buy the Ibarra hot chocolate or the Abuelita hot chocolate drink tablets. Open one pack Package and place it into a pot of hot milk and slowly stir with a molinillo whisk. The molinillo whisk is perfectly designed to not only break apart the hot chocolate disc but to froth it up as you slowly stir. Once the disc is fully dissolved into the heated milk, you may add sugar to taste, though the disc already contains sugar crystals. Pour, serve, and enjoy. Hot chocolate is a very widely and commonly known tradition during the Christmas season, but its origins are actually traced back to the Olmec, Mayan, and Aztec cultures of Mexico and Central America. One of hot chocolate's original recipes comes from the Mayans, my ancestors. In this recipe, the Mayans developed a frothy drink called chocolate, which means bitter water, around 500 BC. They made it by grinding cacao beans into a paste and mixing it with water, cornmeal, chili peppers, and other spices, which is fairly different from the modern day hot cook. Mexican American food and culture has a great impact on Californian cuisine. Even though I've only spoken about a couple of dishes, I hope I've enlightened you all on my Hispanic heritage.